Keep it simple, keep it real, staying connected, that's the deal. In this video, I'll bring you a summary of things you need for 4G connectivity. Uh, I've noticed over the last time, um, well, we've been doing this for 18 months now, that things can get really complicated. And we get a lot of questions where people don't necessarily understand. And now you get all this feedback saying, it's just so complicated. So I thought, let's cut through to the simplicity of what can be done. And the next series, which is basically going to be the videos for the forthcoming future, is going to be just simple wholesome for lack of another word solutions but before i do that do remember to stay connected with rf shop by subscribing to our channel channel and um, clicking that bell so you will see any updates that we present now first thing first uh last weekend my son and i did a um, diving course it's diving time again so that's pretty awesome um, we did a rescue diver course which is not relevant to what i want to say but the first thing we learn when you do rescue diving course and any emergency course is Assess the situation. Stop, breathe, think, and act. That's what I want to do in this video. I just want to stop. I, I thought this is time to actually do a video without going in too much detail and just talk about what's going on here rather than going just jumping into all sorts of technology. So this video is the first of the new series, which um, the name will be shown at the bottom, really just to get going in. Let's stop, let's think, and let's present you all the solutions that are out there. The thing is, what I see online, a lot of people say it's too complicated, it's just too hard. It's not, but that's easy for me to say because I work with this every day. The analogy I want to give you is a TV, um, and specifically I guess my generation and, um, and even older. You would remember on the old days you had a TV that basically you put in the lounge room or somewhere and you had the opportunity or the option to basically use an indoor, indoor antenna. So that's exactly the same. You have an antenna, you have a TV and you have an antenna. Then, if you say, well, this is not working good enough for me, you go to Jayco or whatever hardware store it is, Bunnings or so, you get yourself a nice outdoor antenna, put it on the roof, or get somebody to put it on the roof for you, and what do you need? You need a cable to connect the two together. Then your TV magically works better. Not magically, because you point it in the right direction, because you know that's where Mount Lofty is for us here in Adelaide, or whatever your local base station is. That's... That's the principle. Now, what's different between this concept and a router? Or this concept and a booster, a self I go? Oh, fundamentally, not much. In fact, let me say nothing. It's just a different application that you're using. So let me just show you an example of a self fire and a self fire is a booster. Um, interesting fun fact, huh? there's a new one. That's um, it's pretty awesome. So when we go to Rapid Bay soon enough, and it is actually turning summer, as I say, we, didn't, we went diving last weekend, so we're going to go there and have some fun. But this is the new Self I Go 4. A um, little bit bigger than the old one. Uh, awesome little thing. Awesome little thing. Um, has new features in there. But that's the problem. Once I start to say, I'm so excited about this thing, you get into a point where you think, uh-oh, what's going on here? What do I need to think about? Fundamentally, let's remove the TV from my example. So, TV is gone. I'll keep the antenna outside. It's a different antenna because it's a different technology. But that's like a radio FM antenna won't work for TV antenna. It's the same idea. FM antenna is for radio. TV antenna was for TV. Cellular antenna was for cellular. And you have a cable. Same again, I guess. Specific cable or wire that you could have used for the FM didn't work for the TV. The same here. You need another type of cable for your 4G connection. That's just the way it is. But it's still the same thing. It's a coaxial cable that goes from the antenna through to my unit, my cell phone, my booster. And then on the inside, what a booster does, just like with TVs, um, it basically gives you a stronger signal. And then you have many people all being able to connect the telephone or whatever they have to the boosted signal. That's one way to do it. That's all there is to it. I'm not going to say more about it at this stage. The rest we can do when we do outside. I can go demos and I can explain more what's going on there. But for now, that's all you need. An antenna, a cable, a booster, and just then a repeat of that, that same boosted signal on the inside. End of story. Right. Next problem is modems. Now, the difference between them the difference I can all say is when you do booster, you boost all the signals and people with telephones and so forth and phones, they get a better signal. If you say, but I want an internet connection, we can actually do something more clever. And it gets 
a little bit more complicated, but don't get overwhelmed. It's really not overwhelmingly difficult. So I'm just going to put here my props. So I have my um, Teltonica at the back. So I love my Teltonicas, which are available from the um, RF Shop online store, or give us a call if you need them. But there's an ever popular Huawei B818. Uh, this is actually another model, but that's one, one prop. You have the um, Teltonica at the back. You have the um, very successful 4G Nighthawk M2, very good device. Or, this one is coming up and it's going to be my next video, Nighthawk M5, that's the new 5G version of the, um, the Nighthawk. Also a very nice compact little device. What's the difference? So let's go through the picture here. Uh, can you have a picture on? Oh, come on. I keep my original antenna because there is one antenna, but there is a little bit of a catch. Of course there is a catch and that's the funny, uh, well not so funny thing I guess. You probably need two antennas, so it's a thing called MIMO. So that's the only next level thing that you will have to know. But you know what, if you talk to RF Shop, if you talk to any of the companies that deal with this, they will know how to do these things. So you don't have to worry about the detail too much. You just have to contact the company, contact RF Shop, we help you. Or in the kits that we provide, we say, well, you have a modem? In this case, what we would say is, you have an M5, that's the antenna. We say, take an x 2, 10 meter cable is handy. If you want longer or shorter, of course, RF Shop does custom coaxial cable, so we can do things for you. But the kit would be, for an antenna like this, uh, a modem like this, so a router like this. There's your router, like my picture here. There's a router. I need something to connect into this. So little adapter cables, because these are all different. That's a, that has a certain connector types, the other stuff with other connector types. So you just need a little adapter cable and you need how long cable you need. So we have here um, an example of two antennas, but the two antennas is just something we deal with and you have internet. That's really as uh, simple as it can be. Don't make it more complicated than it is. There are forums and groups out there that say it's too complicated, therefore you have to go to some of the other technologies. I'm now also um, at home using one of the other technologies, probably the mainstream one well known here in Australia and I have to reset my router once a week because the thing stops synchronizing with the network. It drives me nuts. So don't tell me this thing is problematic or 4G is problematic because of cost or because of other reasons. That's not a good enough excuse. This is an awesome technology. If you want to go for a satellite connection, you have to live with latency of 600 to 800 milliseconds. If you want to go for the bigger well-known networks, there are complications as well. If you want to go for this one, there are complications as well, but nothing is perfect and this is an absolutely awesome solution to, to use as a mainstream or as a backup solution. Um, that's all I have to say about this. Um, I was planning not to actually go down a tangent, but I did um, almost lose my temper there. I think <laughs> it's because it's such a passionate thing. You really want to get people to understand how awesome this technology is. Um, so in the next video, I'll um, just hook up the, an antenna to the Nighthawk M5. I'll show you how that works. And it's how simple it is to do that. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, all right. <laughs> Here we go again. Man, 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 man. Okay. Keep it simple. Keep it real. Staying connected. That's the deal. In this video, I'll bring you a summary of things you need for 4G connectivity.